let's get this on. Don't mind that, uh, years old. So this game, it's a realistic shooter, both on Xbox and PS4. It's no, like, split screen. Um, local play is more or less just play by yourself. Um, online play, it's fun. It's most of the time, the uh, people you play with are nice. It's very fun if you take it seriously, along with these strangers. Or, if you play with friends, that is a blast. Playing with friends is a blast. Because, one, it's funny to just not take it seriously, run in guns a blazing. Or take it seriously, that's very fun too. I prefer the commander... Here, just you can see all those things that I'm scrolling through. I'm gonna be a uh, commander. It is a night raid, so I will be wearing my. Uh... Actually, no, it's not a night raid. Uh, correct me on that. Actually, it's not a night raid. But as you can see, it is pretty decent graphics. Not the best, but realistic. Uh, bullets to kill someone it takes one to three bullets to kill someone uh, Grenades can go through the floor Also, team damage, that's a big thing. If you shoot your teammates enough, it will really kill you. See, like that. Freaking retards. Stop it, stupid. Spread it out. Stop shooting me. That was my bad. I walked in front of him. I do not know if you guys can see the game right now, but I'm moving through a building. About to exit through the garage door. Currently moving to objective seat. Never mind, got killed by a freaking grenade because my teammates do not know how to throw. Spectate now, but not very interesting. So, the reason I choose commander is because I get to call in airstrikes, but there's an exception. Not an exception, more or less a boundary. But if you don't have an observer, you cannot call in airstrikes. And you have to be within a certain distance of the observer to call in the airstrikes. So, like, uh, anything over 10 meters, no go. And it has to be 10 meters flat. Maybe 10.01, because they don't allow that. But, uh, you can call auto strafe runs, which is. Turret and kills everything in its path. Um, there's explosive art artillery, which is kind of self explanatory. Smoke artillery, so it's like, it's like the explosive artillery, but it doesn't blow up, it just puts out smoke. Then there's, uh, what do you call it? There's minigun support, which is a helicopter. Sorry about that music. Um, there's a helicopter with a minigun that comes in, blasts everything, and then there's also, uh, I forgot what it's called. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, I can't remember that. But me and my cousin play this game. We like to uh, do semi only breach together. So, like, he'll kick down the door, I'll throw a flashbang to it. It's very fun. Um, I like the night raids because it's 
easier, in my opinion. Well, it's a hard one, so like, easy because enemies can't see you if they don't have night vision or if their flashlight's not pointed on you. Hard if the enemy does have night vision or it's too dark for your night vision. Sweet, let's go, I'm back. Hopefully I'll get killed by friendlies. Look at you, killer! Well, these are annoying when the enemy strolls up in them. So I have to adjust my sensitivity and my field of view because I turn too slow for the way I move and also the FOV I like to be able to see more on the screen so oh my gosh I hate this freaking game not really only cost around 20 bucks and there's a lot more maps, and each map is accessible to for night raids. Night raids, that's what I call them. And there's the. Each objective is, can be different. So there's ones where you just have to capture it, which will kill the enemy inside of it. And then, um. It takes a while to. And capture the objective itself and then you, sometimes it makes you defend which you have to sit in that objective for about two minutes and then the bots which are actually very smart can recapture the objective and then there's the um, demolition of the objective where you go into the objective clear everyone from the building find an IED, plant an explosive, clear the area, and blow it up. That was when I got first time. Second time, I grenade. But now that guy, he can no longer kill anyone, because if he shoots them, he, the damage is reflected back to the game. Actually, I think the second kill, they both get the damage dealt to them, and the third time. It's uh, oh, just the person shooting, taking the damage. The guy I'm spectating right now, I'm not a big fan of because half nice or half full. And then you'll put in a full one or whatever you can lock in another bag. You have limited ammo. The only time you can refill is if you find an ammo box or a ammo crate after you capture the objective or on a previous objective you have captured. As you can see, we lost the objective. I have um, only got three kills, one assist, and tied three times. All the teammates, believe it or not. But now you got round two with this is like quick assessment change your loadout change change your what loud out you are um, I currently use green green, what gun am I using? I am using the QBZ D3 All right, here we go. Cover me, cover me. 
the object, um, not the objectives, the uh, controls are different than most games. Like for me, uh, aiming and shooting still the same, but in order to open up this menu to select what you are going to use, you have to hold triangle. But you can, for me, I have a setting where you just tap triangle to pop weapons and op to open doors. It is R1, RB for Xbox. And then in order to change sights, it tells you right there, it's left on the D-pad after you use ADS. Um, to turn on your laser, it's right on the D-pad. Then you do ADS, but you can do it while aiming down your sights. Um, these pistols are nice. If you empty a mag, it just makes a clicking noise, while well, automatically reload. So it's a lot of listening and observation to find someone. One thing that sucks about it, um, those are not good pl drones, that's a big drone actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a suicide bomb, also called an IED, which I just died to. Don't know how, because I was far enough away. It got closer, but I died. So let's go over my loadout. I have the QBZ. Um, that's a yeah. O O O three zero three. I have a two times to one times optic. O O K P O K P seven, which is the op optic. I got a suppressor, a recoil grip, which obviously reduces recoil. Got an extended magazine, cause I don't like the drums, and I have a laser. Um, I have a Makarov and an extended mag on that Makarov. I have two flashbangs, M84 flashes. Um, I have a binoc I have a pair of binoculars. That's for calling in airstrikes. I got a light carrier, which is allows me to only carry two flashes. Then I have light armor, self-explanatory. Accessory, don't have one. And then I have a combat knife, which is, yeah. And then there's a certain amount of uh, points to use which you, oh shoot we lost there's a certain amount of points you can use and you use those points to um, create your loadout also there's All a right, weight limit if you go over 100% your character is going to be walking when you're trying to sprint okay, ready. so it, it really affects your, how you play and then the game's also very realistic. If you have a full mag and you reload, um, it keeps the bullet in the chamber still. So you so let's say your mag carries 30, and you reload on that full mag. Next time you reload, you'll have 31. Unless you re-rack the gun, then it ejects that one bullet. But that you don't have to worry about that. The game doesn't do that for you. Your character knows what to do and what not to do. That guy. Okay, I'm on I'm alpha. not very good at aiming. Dang that. That's my bad. Didn't hit him. I bet, so if there's only three rounds per game unless you're playing local, then it just goes into you win. And, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my stats, I think I only have a 30% accuracy rate. Pretty bad. I did not know that works, actually. I just learned something new. Yeah, so I knew you could kick down doors, but I didn't know if you shot the hinges, it would come off. Probably because he has a shotgun. But if, so, most of the time doors open Watch inwards, me. like in, towards the inside of the building. So if you kick it, um, if you're inside the building and you kick it, the door falls off. But if you kick the door from outside, it'll just open it. Or you can just do a casual open, there's no cracking at the door open and slowly moving through the door and unlike some games you can't hide behind a couch to dodge bullets
Yeah, if you throw molotovs, it will uh, burn the objectives enough to where the uh, bomb, yeah, the bomb will throw itself up. Oh shoot, I'm back. Let's uh, Okay, I'm back, ready to go. This is one of my <laughs> least favorite maps. That's why I'm not really trying. I'm also talking to you guys so it brings down my concentration. You can use the laser to aim down. I don't know how to quite do that yet. Like, you can aim with the laser, not your sights. been trying to figure out for the longest time but I sh it's never been clear to me you can maybe clear. it has to do something with the attack. oh also uh, if you yeah, walk into us. walls the guy will raise the rifle the only thing that's unrealistic is the mags in the wall so you hear that hear that truck that's that truck with the turret The driver normally gets out and hops on the turret. What I'm gonna do is actually hide What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in this truck. Oh, I don't know how to drive this thing. Oh, no, I don't know. I'm gonna drive it away from the objective. I only did that so enemies can't hop in it and start blasting us. Ah, couldn't see him, didn't have a shot on him. Okay, hold on, I need to load. Hopefully, I don't run into freaking IEDs. Those are my worst enemies. So the reason suicide bombers are called IEDs and the objectives are called IEDs is uh, because they have the remote, which is technically it's the remote that they're calling IEDs. The remotes are what causes the explosion. So it's like a uh, Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth in a lethal way, you know what I'm saying? The play maps enough, you always know where bots are gonna be. Sometimes the game changes it up. Oh, holy crap, I'm so thankful for my teammate. I did not see that guy.
Oreo Crunch is currently our support. So, uh, he carries the big guns. He's more or less just cut. He's kind of the big guns. I think I did say that. I feel dumb now. No, uh, he, we use him for like holding area, but as you can see, he's the last one left. Well, that's the game. I kind of did terrible, terrible map. I hate that map. <laughs> this is overall stats. I had 13 kills, 3 assists, 8 deaths. A lot of them were team kills. But, yeah, that's the game. I might record another one later. So, y'all see ya. Have a good night.